Hey everybody, my name is Dustin Zinger, Investor Relations for Valor Metals. Joining me today, VP of Exploration is Colin Smith. Today we're going to be talking about the Angulac Properties 21 Focused, which is district-wide targeting. Thanks, Dustin. Yes, indeed. So we'll focus solely on the work we'll be doing this year at Angulac, and uh, it's pretty exciting. I'm very excited to share this with you. We'll be acquiring 466 kilometers square of new worldview spectral data. It's going to be shot over the next couple of months as soon as the snow covers uh, dissipate up there. And uh, as you may recall from Pedro Branca, basically this is going to allow us to map prospective geology, alteration, mineralogy at the scale of a boulder, but throughout this the span of this massive project we have in, in none of it. And so, uh, you know, at, at Pedro Branca, our PGE project in Northeastern Brazil, we've had really good success with worldview spectra data paired with reprocessed geophysics, for example, led to a drilling discovery, the CO4 target. So we're gonna be looking to apply a very similar, similar methodology to Angulac. Further to that, so, you know, we have extensive geochemical and geophysical databases. We have over nine, close to 90,000 meters of drilling in almost 600 drill holes. We have property-wide geophysics, both airborne and ground. So we're going to be reprocessing those, getting into the weeds of those databases with state-of-the-art reprocessing techniques and trying to maximize the value from those data sets in conjunction to the new worldview data that we will be getting. And, and ultimately, the, 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 the final product will be an integrated district-wide targeting review, not only looking at how to best expand the LAC50 resource, but also to advance the pre-resource targets of which there's many. You can see in the smaller red stars, in the top left map to the inferred resource category. So uh, very exciting times for, for Angular. Excellent. And historically, we've spent more than $55 million on Angular. Today, uh, in the next slides, Colin's going to give us just a brief overview of what we've done with, uh, with that money so far. Absolutely. So, I mean, first and foremost, I'll direct your eyes to the scale. So this property is big. It's over 42 kilometers in width from east to west. And what we're looking at in this slide in particular is the geochemical database that is, has been built in, in addition to the drilling uh, collars, which are the small black dots. So as you can see, there's district-wide geochemical data. There's a lot of anomalism, which is in the soil's perspective denoted by the, the yellow polygons and the rock samples are in red squares. So there's high-grade uranium all over the place at Anglac. And we're gonna be looking at detail in particular with the downhole uh, assay data for the drilling. Again, there's almost 90,000 meters of drilling. We're gonna be looking at that to see if there's any specific ratios or pathfinders or multivariate uh, comparisons that we can use to better constrain our district-wide uh, targeting. Now, further to that, as we said before, there's extensive geophysics in place. So property-wide airborne surveys multiple really high quality ground VLF EM surveys. And these have been critical in ultimately the building of the LAC50 resource area. And ultimately the reprocessing of this data is going to maximize the, its value and, and hopefully add to the drilling discovery story, but also the resource expansion story at Angulac. Now bring it all together. You're looking at both the geophys and the geochem. The, the margin of the Anjakuni Basin is denoted uh, in this shade of color here. And this is the area in which we'll be covering with worldview, new worldview spectral data. And uh, so it's pretty exciting. Again, we, we uh, had really and continue to have really exciting results at Pedro Branca with worldview. Anglac is in many ways a, a very uh, appropriate target area for worldview. It's a huge position, land position. And, um, you know, in conjunction to reprocess geophys and geochem, we think that we're going to be able to really maximize value of the next exploration program at Angola. Great, Colin. Thank you. And thanks everybody for watching. Again, May 13th, 2021, Valor will be participating in the Red Cloud Uranium Live webinar. So feel free to join us. There will be a link below.